Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking to buy the beat down here. Michael, the Mikester, on this Friday morning, fresh off the school bus. Feeling pretty good today. Even though I woke up super early. I was up by like 3.40. Jumped on the stationary bike, the fan bike, the assault bike, the eh, whatever bike you want to call it. Jumped on that and spun my spun out my 30 minutes on there and had some coffee and anyway day got started early that's pretty normal for me so got three big things happening today two things I'll keep under wraps until we find out two things I'll keep that's what she said anyway the other thing is I have a package arriving today if you know what I normally get in my package jing jing you know what I'm probably expecting something along them lines and uh, I'll do a little unboxing of that later if it comes in today it's supposed to it's supposed to have been here yesterday but I guess it uh, got a little bit late for me so it never made it so had a pretty good workout yesterday I'm still I'm still doing good with the 460 pound elevated deads and uh, still doing good and uh, yeah I can even do them from the floor I've done them from the floor so uh, not just elevated so that's good my hand is still bothering me though. I'm having a terrible time with those calluses, and I know I bring it up in every other video, but never experienced that. I mean, a lot of us have had calluses, you know, especially you do hard work, and I've done hard work. But can't really see them, but I got them. On my fingers and down here, that one really discolored one is the one that's about to pop. If I do anything, if I were to have kept going or not used my gloves or something, it would have popped, I'm sure. So, really, really a pain in my butt. Well, one good thing I do like waking up early for is I go ahead and get my spin done, so it's done. I like getting that out of the way. That's 30 minutes out of the way. So basically that allows me to just get my walk done. Then I can go in and eat, get my breakfast, which I look forward to. Today I'm not quite as hungry as I have been the last couple of days out here on my walk I've been like really hungry and I'm not normally hungry so so I'm happy to have that done and it feels pretty pleasant out today it's really foggy like on the road you were lucky to see a hundred meters I said meters I'm playing a stupid game and there's and the distance goes by meters so I'm getting to kind of know meters a little bit in the distance it's that hunting game I'm playing I don't know why they use meters and kilometers or kilometers however you want to pronounce that <sighs> But anyway, really foggy out today. It's starting to clear off a little bit, a little bit more patchy. But it was really bad. And people driving around without their lights on. And me having to go in and out of the highway, our main highway in this town, 
four lanes plus a turning lane, so five lanes. And I'm having to cut from one side to the other, and in and out, and can't see. Very dangerous. Police officers worrying about if you got a light on your license plate or expired tags more than they worry about stuff like that or if you're going six miles per hour over the speed limit but whatevs whatevs yo <sighs> so as you know I sold off a couple of pieces of my workout equipment and I am going to say I'm still not missing them it's, it's not it's not every day it's not normal that you don't have a little bit of seller's remorse when you get rid of something especially as much as I use those two pieces of equipment but oddly enough I'm still happy with my decision I basically pretty much made back the money just for the sled, uh, the hack press. Like if we're going by new new prices of what I paid, I pretty much made my money back on that completely. And then the <laughs> the uh, high low lamp machine basically was free. Not really. You know what I'm saying? Like if I were to add up, hey, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I got a little bit for this and a little bit for that. So, I feel pretty good about what I got. Uh, Titan Fitness don't typically have the resale value of some other brands. But, I feel like I did pretty good getting what I got. Uh, when I bought the high low machine, uh, lamp machine, uh, what I got back on that was half. And on the hack press, I got back uh, way more than half. So, pretty good. And uh, I'm still holding on to that. Holding on to that money. That's going to go towards a, a new wave of action figures that I have on pre-order. Uh, some of that's going to go towards that. And probably the rest of it is going to go towards getting some better symbols for my drum set. Namely, uh, a new set of hi-hats and probably a new crash of some sort. Uh, if you recall, if you keep up with my videos... Uh, you'll recall that my son, my youngest son, actually offered to get me a uh, Father's Day gift. And he asked me what I wanted within a certain price range. And so I picked out some hi-hats. I never heard them. I just took a chance. Because anything had to sound better than the ones that came with the drum set. That are, you know super beginner type stuff and I thought well I'll get these and see how they sound well never really have liked them either uh, basically it's like hitting a tin can when they're closed and that's how you use hi-hats a lot is kind of closed and then when you open them it's just kind of an accent and kind of different stuff like that but a lot of times you're using your hi-hats in a closed position and they just they don't sound good closed and your hi-hats are your, one of your main pieces that you use constant so uh, your hi-hats are the two symbols that you see on the stand and you have the foot pedal and it opens and closes them that's your hi-hats and uh, that's used like your snare is used 
like your kick, your bass, is used. Uh, those those are used like probably more than anything on your kit. So anyway, I'm debating on if I want to get the hi hats that sound amazing, like pretty much some top of the line stuff, or if I want to go about middle ground. That way I've got enough left over to buy a new, uh, another new symbol, a crash or something. So I'm not sure. Technically you should just save up and buy exactly what you want. That way you don't have to keep buying. But man, they're expensive. Symbols are really, really expensive. Especially when you have to do trial and error. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I may just keep saving until I can actually get exactly what I want. You know, instead of compromising again. So, anyway, long video, guys. Uh, walk and talk. Sometimes they're longer videos. So, anyway. <sighs> So, as you know, today is Friday, and as you know, if you keep up, I only work out, I only walk, and I only spin Monday through Fridays now. So, although I enjoy my daily activities, I also enjoy getting to Friday because I know I get to rest a couple days and just do whatever I want. Which has been basically sitting around playing video games. <laughs> and it feels good. It feels good. Now I play video games throughout the week too. But Saturday and Sunday, I get to just do it all day if I want. Get a couple of chores done around the house. But pretty much free. So today is going to be biceps and triceps. If I do something else, we'll see, but I know for sure it's bicep tricep. So, hope you enjoy the videos. Hope you go through and watch all my nearly 2,000 videos. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. Uh, get my channel out there. I mean, I've only got so much content I can put out there. And by the time I get a thousand or a million subscribers, Heck, I'm going to be out of ideas. Whew, I'm a long ways from that. So get me out there quick, guys, before I run out of ideas or get so old that I die. And then people are going to be looking at my videos. Man, we should have watched his videos a long time ago. We should have supported him a long time ago. See, I was going to sign out, but let's keep going for a minute. I'm not in this for the money. Never have been in it really for the money. Uh, good thing. I'm not making any money. I can't get monetized. You got to have a certain amount of watch hours, certain amount of subscribers, etc., etc. Now, for those people like myself that would like to get monetized, even if we could rake in 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, that would be amazing. Because then we could put that back into the channel. I need a camera. I need symbols. I need uh, workout equipment again later on. Some other stuff that I'm looking at. You know, different things to keep stuff going. Keep things interesting. And if you could get monetized and just make a few bucks, that would help out. Especially when you're tight on your budget like we are. So the more you get my channel out there, the more watch hours I get, the more traffic I get. Hey, I can reach that goal. And uh, that would be nice. So anyway, having said that, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael, your incredible host. And don't forget, <laughs> get up, get out, get red, do it to it.
See y'all later. Bus. Look at that bush. Look at that bush, Gush. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!